So, uh, who wants to take uh, case one? I can take this one. Okay. Um, so it looks like we're looking at something that's deeper down in the dermis. Um, and it's kind of like purple. I think you can describe it as like arabesque in shape. Mm. Um, so this is good for gel foam. Very good. Yeah, this is gel foam. So it's, you know, used, to, as you guys know, after certain surgeries, you can use it. I think some people like to do it after a punch biopsy instead of a stitch. And it's used in various other internal surgeries. So every once in a while, you see it left in tissue. And it has, uh, I guess I'd never, uh, never heard of uh, or thought of it as arabesque, but I guess it kind of is. Um, it's, I kind of think of it as almost of it as almost triangular shaped, shaped but then, um, then um, twisting at the twisting. edges. That's weird. It's, I'm hearing like an echo. Sorry. All right. Kind of, I always think of it as kind of like purple triangles that like, that like have like edges that spin away. I don't know. That's what it looks like to my mind. But whatever way you describe it, once you've seen this, you're like, oh, that, that's a thing. I know what that is. So that's gel foam and it's a foreign material. And of course, anytime you see gel foam, pretty much always you're going to also have biopsy site reactive changes, right? And look what we got up here. We've got normal skin on this side on the right, normal-ish skin on the left, except for probably uh, a bit of uh, maybe a little residual melanoma in situ or, uh, or something. I don't know the history on this case, but it looks like a residual melanocytic lesion there. But in any case, here is the, the reactive epidermal change and dermal scar and granulation tissue that represents the site of the previous biopsy. So this is probably like an excision of a melanoma, um, <clears throat> I would imagine. And then uh, uh, that, this was the biopsy site, and then there's gel foam down here. And then underneath the gel foam, we've got some foamy histiocytes and a little inflammation, and that represents fat necrosis. And just as a contrast here, once we get this into clearer focus, this is fat necrosis, and this is gel foam right there. So a little bit different, right? But you could also, you know, sometimes necrotic fat can look uh, a little bit wiggly and squiggly and arabesque-like like in lipidermatous sclerosis. And so sometimes necrotic uh, fat uh, cell membranes can mimic uh, foreign material occasionally. So, all right, good. Gel foam.